For example, you'll notice that La Nailer here, that is really just some text that I had in PowerPoint that I saved as a graphic. So let me show you how to do that. You'll notice that a lot of the video stuff, they designed it for logos. Okay, this is a logo image. But let me give you a little trick here. You don't have to use a logo image. Here's kind of what I might do and exactly what I did to create this looking image. I go into PowerPoint. See this? This is just a slide with some text on it. <laughs> Big text. So let's say instead of La Nailer here, I wanted to have tip number one or step one, right? So as I'm maybe doing a tutorial or something like that, I, moving from my intro here into tip one, boom. That's some nice engaging visual content. So here's how you do that. I just create a big old text box. And once it, I'm happy with the way it looks, if you right click on it and then say save as picture, and then all you have to do is save it somewhere and make sure that you use PNG uh, format. What that's going to do is it's going to kick this text out with a transparent background. And that is perfect for adding to, let's go to create here. See, actually I did that right here. So I have a, a new one. But you can pick your pick your animation or whatever. But let's say I didn't want a logo on this fractured ball thing going on here, <laughs> which is kind of cool. I wanted some text. Well, that's the easy way you create that text. So now let's go here, and we'll just kind of do that. So wherever it asks for an image, which they call a logo, right? What I could do is simply drag and drop the little image that I just created. Gosh, and I don't know where I created it. Hold on a second. Let's do this right. Save as picture. OK, uh, promo graphics picture two. Let's do it. See, that's how we roll here. Uh, we don't mess around too much. There's a lot of laugh in the face of death, live on the razor's edge kind of stuff goes on in these things. So let's see, let's find our tip picture. Okay, there's that guy. Let's go back to videos and I'll just drag it and drop it. Okay, so now instead of the video's logo here, it's gonna say tip one and it's gonna create this video which has the animation. So you can also choose different colors for lots of the different elements. So let's say I didn't want a color ball. Let's say I want like a, well, I got blue text, remember. So sometimes you got to kind of take your design into consideration. So we have some blue text there. Let's go back. Probably about the same color blue as the video's logo there. So I think in reality, I'd probably go ahead and leave it for this one. But at that point, you just click next, give it a name, blue bullet. And another tip I'll give you is I would name these so that you kind of know what they're what they are. Because after we go to download this, uh, we're really going to want to know what it is by looking at the name instead of trying to necessarily, you know, look at the thumbnail. Okay, so, oh, this is very easy for me to see. Now, it's not too bad in Windows Explorer here, but when you pull them into Camtasia, okay, sometimes the, the preview and stuff isn't, see, here's the paper unfold. Well, I would never know what that is. By the way, MOV files with transparency will sometimes look black like this because it can't render a preview of it all the time. So that's why 
how you name them is extremely useful so don't forget to do that and the other kind of nice thing is that you can also include a little audio sound effect with it I will caution you that if you add sounds uh, it's going to render this and put it into the video and right now what it's doing is it's uploading my image so that takes a second if you include the audio just be aware that a lot of times the volume on the sound effect is really loud so when you pull it into Camtasia uh, you're gonna wanna probably you know adjust volume this one I didn't render out with audio but it would have a little wave file like this in it if I had audio and to do that you can just kinda click the audio tab and you know, to demo I'll go down here you click the audio tab and you can just like grab the volume level here and drag it up and down see my cursor change right and you want to drag that down probably or you can just kinda click the volume down button a couple times right but just be aware that I found that a lot of the audio sound effects that come with some of these you know they're handy and sometimes I'll use them sometimes I won't but that kind of thing. Mm -hmm.